welcome to Fairfield City Open Library's Easter Craft. Today we're making a bunny frame. For that you're going to need a paper plate, some scissors, some assorted coloured paper, a pencil, a glue stick and some cotton balls. Let's get started. So let's put aside everything we don't need just now. To begin with, we're going to need a paper plate, pencil and scissors. We're going to start by folding our plate in half. Give it a nice good press. Then open it up and use the crease line to draw an outline where we're going to cut. Folding it in half again, use your scissors to just cut your beginning line to make it a bit easier to cut the straight line in the middle. Then proceed to cut along everywhere that you've lined with your pencil. You should end up with two semicircles. First one done, put it off to the side. Now we cut the other one out. This one should be much easier to cut. Now we have two semicircles. These are going to be our bunny ears. Put them off to the side for a moment. Now we need our pink paper or any colour you'd like. Now I think these semicircles are a little too big for my bunny ears. So I might just trim them down. Take both ears, place them together, take your pencil and draw a very rough line for you to cut along. Grab your scissors and cut them. I think this is a much better size for bunny ears. What do you think? This will all depend on the size of your paper plate. So have a look at your ears before you cut them. Now we're going to do a very light outline so we know what size the inside of our bunny ears should be. I'm going to draw a line about a centimetre in from the outline. Then folding my paper in half so that I can make sure both sides are the same size. Take your scissors and very carefully cut them out. Check and make sure your pieces fit together just right. You might need to move them around a little bit. Once they're in just the right places, it's time to glue. Get your glue stick and let's put together these bunny ears. Now we need a paper plate our bunny ears and some glue. Carefully taking your bunny ears, you're going to glue them generously and firmly place them on your plate. Give them a good little squish. And now we're going to do the same thing with our other ear. Starting to look like a bunny. Let's put the bunny aside for a moment and make it a bow tie. But you can make anything you like. I'm doing a bow tie today, but you could do a flower or a love heart, anything you like. Gently trace out whatever design you're making onto your coloured paper. Once that's done and you're happy with your design, let's cut it out. Remembering to be careful with scissors. That bow 
tie looks good enough for a bunny, don't you think? Let's get our glue stick and stick it on. Give it a nice squeeze to make sure it sticks. I think what will make this bunny frame even better is making it fluffy. So now get your cotton balls and pull them apart a little bit. We want to make them nice and big and fluffy. So you get to have a bit of fun with this. Really pull them apart and make them fluffy. And once it's nice and big and fluffy enough, get your glue stick, give a little bit of a swirl and place your cotton ball on there. And then we repeat. Round and round we go, making our bunny extra fluffy. And be careful around your bow tie. There we go, there's our fluffy bunny frame. You can use this as a mask and put it over your face or even over a photo. Thank you for watching Fairfield City Open Library's Easter Craft. Bye!